I think, firstly, my appeal would be to the minister to say, I, I want to appeal to the minister's conscience to say, at the age of 71, would you gladly resign? Because mm. where things are going in this country, they're not going in the right direction. Mm. We live in a country where the cash in transit heist report says that every day there is a cash in transit heist in this country. Mm. It takes 14 months to plan a cash in transit heist. You need explosives. So there are factories that are generating explosives. Guns are fired. Those bullets, the guns are not known about, the bullets are not known about. Every single day, a cash in transit heist. Mm. Minister, my words to you would say, can you resign? please, and give the opportunity to younger people that have got solutions to be able to implement. So you, 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 now, you don't have confidence in him at the moment? Look, I think there comes a time when, when, when policies say that at the age of 65, take your pension, companies understand that that's the limit that an adult person can take. And I think to a certain extent, it might also be unfair on him to put him at the age of 71 and expect him to understand these complex matters. The matter we're discussing tonight of construction mafia, yeah. it's a very complex matter. It involves small Are business. Are you saying what you said earlier, you don't buy? That, the no. fact that, that first of all, the construction mafia exists. Secondly, they as the police are going to clamp down in terms of uh, making sure that people who arrive with guns and what, like he gave an example, are going to be arrested. Because I, 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 you know, I, I you know, it, it's, it's nice to talk about general thing of that the whole government, somebody can say it was all go, but, you know, to, tonight we are saying, what are the solutions tonight, right, with what we've got, because I'm in power until April next year, Definitely. and he's unlikely to resign. <laughs> okay, no <Yeah>. problem. <laughs> we'll leave that one. But, but what I want to get to is, the, the matter we're discussing tonight is a fundamentally important matter. Yeah. And there's nothing new under the sun, the Bible tells us, which clearly informs us that the issues we're facing today are issues that have been faced by many other countries that have solved them very quickly. We're now in democracy 30 years. We are still discussing black people going to beg for jobs in their own localities to be able to earn a living. How can we still be discussing that after 30 years of democracy? Mm. That means that the same democracy we fought for, we were fighting it for outsiders to come and take jobs in a country of people that were deprived for many years. Yeah. All right. The matter stems from small business all the way up to government. There's no coordinated approach in government. Every minister is doing what they think is right without coordination of understanding how do we empower the small business in the community to become a leader in construction? How do we bring in enterprise? How do we bring in all departments to ensure that the businesses in the locality can become big business and not just always call businesses from outside to come and build schools, but actually develop people in those communities that have built schools, that build industries, and we get to develop our own people. The government is not understanding the problem. And when you don't understand something, it's quick to say it's a mafia.